Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm super excited to dive into my experience with Monster Hunter Wilds Beta. Let me tell you, I had an absolute blast trying out the dual blades and the bow weapons. If you're a fan of fast paced action and want to master the art of dodging and slicing, stick around because the beta showed me just how epic this game is shaping up to be. So first off, let's talk about the dual blades. Oh man, these are fast and seriously addictive. In Monster Hunter Wilds, the dual blades let you get right into the monster's face and just go to town. I felt like I was in total control, flipping and slicing at every angle. You really feel the impact of each hit. And when you chain together combos, it's so satisfying. I think it, this weapon is perfect if you like an up close and personal fighting style and want to stay quick on your feet. Now on the other hand, the bow brings a completely different vibe, but just as thrilling to use. I love the precision that you get with each shot. It feels like Monster Hunter Wilds made some great tweaks to ranged combat. Lining up those shots from distance gives you a tactical advantage. And it's also a great weapon to support teammates while keeping a safe distance. Plus switching between shot types really adds up the depth to the gameplay. Overall, I think Monster Hunter Wilds has done a fantastic job balancing the different play styles. The beta really showed how much the devs have put into making the game fun for all types of hunters. Whether you wanna be agile and deadly up close and personal, with the dual blades or rain down arrows with the bow, you're gonna feel like a true hunter. Now let's get to the environments. The environments in Monster Hunter Wilds feel incredibly immersive. The world isn't just a backdrop, it's a part of the hunt. I notice how every location from dense forests to wide open plains feels unique and affects how you strategize each encounter. You'll find yourself needing to use the environment to your advantage like leading monsters into traps or using natural hazards to deal damage. And honestly, just exploring these massive open landscapes is a blast. There are hidden paths, rare gathering points, and even small creatures that make the world feel alive and vibrant. Now let's talk about the monsters themselves. I seriously was impressed by how intelligent they feel. The monsters have distinct behaviors and don't just rely on random attack patterns more reactive and can adapt to how you're fighting. For example, if you're using ranged attacks like the bow, some monsters will close the distance quickly or even hide behind obstacles. Others will start retreating if they take too much damage or get back into a corner. It adds a lot of depth and it keeps you on your toes since you can't rely on a single strategy for every monster. One thing that stood out to me is how well Monster Hunter Wilds encourages strategic thinking. You have a lot of flexibility with your loadout from choosing traps, bombs, to items that help boost your health and stamina. Setting up traps or luring a monster to a specific area can be the difference between a quick hunt and a grueling battle. The game pushes you to use everything at your disposal making every hunt feel like a personal challenge and you really get that satisfaction when your plan comes together especially if you could take down a big beast without taking too much damage on the combat side the flow of each fight feels intense and rewarding you can tell the developers put a lot of thought into making sure each weapon feels unique and fun the new dodge mechanics and the ability to chain attack smoothly make the combat feel even more dynamic. If you're playing with a team, Monster Hunter Wilds really shines. Each player can bring their own role and weapon specialty. So if you're the type who loves working as a team, this game has got you covered. Overall, Monster Hunter Wilds brings together everything I love about this series with some fresh upgrades and smoother mechanics. It's got that balance of challenging gameplay, strategic planning, and rewarding combat that I think a lot of Monster Hunter fans will love. If you're looking for a game that keeps you thinking, reacting, and adapting, Wilds feels like it's gonna deliver big time. One of the last things I wanna talk about are the new 
mounts in Monster Hunter Wilds. At first, I thought these things were going to be a little bit in the way, clumsy. I didn't like the way they looked, but I was proven wrong. These things are clutch and it makes traversal so much better. The fact that you can sharpen your weapons while you're on your mount, while your mount is riding towards the monster. Um, and not to mention that you can attack while on your mount using your swords and stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's a great feature in the game and it feels natural. And I can already tell it's going to be a huge part of my strategy. Let me know in the comments if you guys have tried the dual blades or the bow, or even if you just tried the beta. What'd you think? And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So you don't miss out on any of my upcoming content. Happy hunting, and I'll catch you on the next one.